Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims for Barbie, uh, part 36, I think, unless I mucked it up again. Jem just got home from pulling an all-nighter with his sister, pretty crazy, um, and he really needs to get some sleep. I don't think Barbie really minded that he was back late. I mean, she seems to be in a great mood, she's hugging her mom, she's very happy, and it's all good, it's all good. Um, okay, acquired the motor skill. We're actually really needing to make some money, um, because <laughs> we have, like, no money, uh, for this huge house. Our bills will cost more money than we have. So what I'm thinking is we go to the Barbie boutique. She's, uh, in a fairly good mood, so I'm gonna do that right away. Um, I might get Marge to help us out too. Margie and, uh, Ken... We could get Ken to come along with us. Maybe we'll just bring the kids anyway because we can. Uh, but the other kids can stay home because they're pretty tired, I think. Anyways, we can all head there. And uh, we'll just open the store, make some money. Um, hopefully we can feel a little bit better about our situation. <laughs> our current situation. And yeah, yeah, I'm just rearranging myself. I'm a little bit uncomfortable on my ch desk chair. Okay, uh, that's better. <laughs> okay, so in the last part, we actually got diamonds together a little bit more with the boy she's currently seeing, but I think Barbie still wants her to see the blondie guy. Okay, so the whole family's here. That's pretty cute. Ken, I mean, that is so inappropriate what you're wearing. <laughs> I love how everyone's so happy. Oh, that was cute. Now, these two are really close, so we'll just get them to... Have a bit of a play around. Uh, they're probably going to be getting very used to playing at the store. And uh, we'll get Marge and Barbie and Ken to all... Like, we're just going to try and earn some cash dollar dollar bills. Uh, we've got most things for sale. We don't really need to restock much. Okay. Uh, might restock this item. And yeah, let's see if we can get some people in and we'll try and sell stuff at the Barbie boutique. Is this Ken? Oh, looking damn fine. Looking damn fine, fine. Okay, peoples, come join our store. Look, here's our first customer. Ken's like, I've never done this before, but the store looks great, Barbie. <laughs> Always, he's like, I'm so proud of you. Oh. Oh, honey, you're looking fine. Barbie, get on it. Get on that right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Heartfelt compliments. <laughs> That's how she starts by making people feel really good. And then, then she talks about their shopping preferences, etc., etc. How can we only have one store customer? Okay, I think our markup's too high too. Oh, that's right. We have a, we have a worker now. Oh, damn. We can only do it when it's closed. Okay. Um, uh, manage and... Oh, she's bored from her conversation. That's no good. Uh, maybe... Can't we, like, tell her to do something? Assign work task. Answer customers' questions. Okay, so let's go discuss. I really want Ken to get away. Oh, this is where all the customers are. Ken, hop out of that group conversation. Stop flirting with Barbie. Oh, look at these two. What's going on here? Are they not getting along? I don't know. Oh, look who it is. Liam came in. Interesting. Greet customer. Ken's like, well, we can have a man-to-man -man chat. You're not talking to the customers, Karen. Oh my god, Karen. <laughs> mean girls reference. Um, don't discuss world peace. We need to business, Ken. Think business. Discuss shopping preferences. Answer questions. It's because they're just constantly having group conversations. This is why we're not selling stuff. 
Spin, Suggest oh, options. Uh -huh. Enthuse about store. <laughs> Ask about price range. <laughs> She's like, yes, yes, buy stuff, buy stuff. Okay, that's quite a few things. Hopefully we'll get somewhere with that. Uh, Margie should come over here. Uh, let's see. This lady looks like she could do with some stuff. I swear our worker does absolutely nothing. All right. Oh, it's Augustus. Sorry, Augustus Diamond isn't in today. Okay, so we've nearly got a sale here. Hopefully it's a good one because we've been working on this lady for quite a while. Bobby's like, come on, you need the couch. You need the couch. <laughs> come on, the Barbie boutique has everything you need for whatever you need. Should we close the deal? It's a little bit risky, although we're feeling pretty confident, so maybe we should try it. What choice, what value? Yay! Let's ring up customer. No, you know what, lady? You can ring up the customer because you haven't done anything. Okay, how's... Oh my god, Ben made the sale worse. This guy looks like he has a lot of money, so let's do... Okay, Margie, who are you talking to? Oh, her. Marge is really good with this stuff. I don't think our worker is even going to ring up the customer, which is just ridiculous because there's only one customer to ring up. Whatever. Okay, Ken, are you... <laughs> Ken! Ken, you are not helping. Stop talking. He's just too family. Like, all he thinks about is his family, really. Okay, so we're bringing her up. We've got Margie entertaining a whole crew. We're going to fire this lady at the end of the shift because she's just not. Endorse products. Well, I happen, to, I happen to wear this myself. You should buy this necklace I'm wearing. It's very beautiful. Barbie and Ken actually named their kids after our diamonds and gems. And then she goes on about the diamond business her and her late husband used to work uh, work for and bam are we ready for a sale yes see that small talk worked that small talk totally worked throughout customer oh i didn't even see how much we earned damn oh oh hold on we made 303 that's not bad Ugh, this lady i just want to fire her already but we'll make a big deal of it at the end okay ken how is your sale going Keep working. Amethyst may as well do all the selling. Nah, she can't do that. But she could set this for sale, which is kind of funny. How are the kids going? Let's just send those home because they're not happy here. I think Barbie should just start trying to sell stuff to her, this lady. Oh, actually, this guy's... Augustus wants to buy stuff, but I think he just wants to get on Barbie's good side. <laughs> Close the deal straight off the bat. Oh, look who's here for a bit of competition. Interesting. I swear these guys are just having man time. They're not really talking about the shopping at all. It's a bit weird that they vacated to the bathroom. Oh, he's not liking our... He's not liking our style. Oh my god, he's playing so hard. He'll probably buy more than... Both of these guys are competing for Barbie. Barbie's attention so that they can date her daughter. 
Oh, cool. She learned that Augustus... Oh, there's nothing much here that interests me. Okay, Ken, you're fired. You're going home. <laughs> this lady looks like she could be interested in some things. Continue talking about shopping preferences. We definitely need to mark some of this stuff down because it's just taking a long time for us to really sell much. Wait, which guy were we thinking was going to buy stuff? Is he already gone? The kid seems pretty keen, but I feel like the kids shouldn't have much money to spend. I guess it's a sim, so probably does. Okay, Barbie, I think you've almost made a sale. You could probably close the deal with this guy had you felt more confident. Oh, she's... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, she's ready to... Oh, closing the deal already? I don't think this is going to work, but we'll try it. She's like, come on, I don't have all day. Do you want it? Do you not want it? Do we, do we buy it? I don't think I don't think she wanted it in the end. I don't think we closed the deal, you guys. Okay, Bobby, you were so close to closing this deal. Enthused about the prices, suggest options, and then we are pretty much on the home run, I think. And then we can close up once we get these two more sales. Enthuse about store. Come on, you guys. You are very, very close to finishing it up. Oh, no. Barbie, do not let him get away. Do not let him get away. Oh, he just needs to go to the toilet. Oh, yep, yep, yep. He's ready. He is ready. Okay, done! Yay! Oh, I thought she was ready. Are you okay? Now this Liberty lady is just playing really hard to get. Oh, the kid wants to buy something? No way. Oh, oh no. The kid wants to buy something. We need an extra person. Bring Diamond here. We need to just ring up the customer. Oh my gosh, we're selling so much stuff right now. We have too many peoples. Oh, well, we were working on her for a very long time, so. Oh, oh my gosh. Augustus is being rung up, but he really wanted Diamond to serve him. Oh, he's looking in her direction. Oh. He wanted to buy something as soon as Diamond arrived. That's really cute. I wonder how much he spent. $262 outfit. That's pretty good. He got a, a bottom holster for $150 and he, oh my god, he bought the wedding pillow with the floral basket for $270. He totally wants to marry us. Awesome. Okay, so let's Let's fire this lady, okay? You know what? Let's get Margie to do that task. Um, we're going to... We'll give her another chance. We'll demote her. But it's just not okay. It's really not okay. <laughs> oh my god, Marge is like struggling. Oh sure, the corporate fat cat. Excuse me, you calling that, Missy? Oh my god, Maji is totally, like, not fat. Comes down from her ivory tower to pass judgment on the little woman. How typical. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. I didn't stutter and I'm certainly not apologizing after you just demoted me. Oh my god, what? Oh, okay, I thought we made, sorry, I thought we made minus 192, but we made $4,000, $3,000.
Fantastic. That makes me really happy. Awesome, guys. We can all head home now. Fantastic. That, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good effort today. So we can make money. Um, it just takes a bit of work at the boutique, but we can do it. We just got to restock stuff and keep it up fairly regularly. And, and it happens. It happens. And that was so cute how Diamond's crush boy, lover boy, was coming into the store just to see her. Or at least that's what I think happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, uh, hopefully they're not all in terrible moods, uh, the kids at home. Hopefully their moods have increased a little bit since they were at the shop. Because otherwise we have a lot of moods to pay attention to. And... Jem will probably be in a pretty good mood, though. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> My god, it's so late. Lady, you gotta go to the toilet. Okay, Topaz, you should be in bed. It is Monday. You can have breakfast in the morning. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Topaz doesn't have a room yet, do you? Oh, that's awkward. Um, We'll get... Get this little chicky into bed. We'll get Topaz into that bed. We might get Gem into Diamond's bed and we'll put Diamond to her grandma's bed because she always sleeps there anyway. How's Ken? He's just chilling over here. He has work in 12 hours. He needs to get up his fitness skills. So I'm thinking we might uh, just use the pool, go for a bit of a night swim. And then Barbie's asleep. Oh, she's going to go camp out in the tent. Okay. Let's watch Ken swim. And then you should fix the toilet. Check out that strut. He's like, oh yeah. Woo! Oh, we still have all the cakes there from the party. I completely forgot. I really feel like going night swimming now. This looks so warm and balmy inside this game. Like, how nice does it look? I want this house. <laughs> I've actually, I've never had a pool to swim in, so I'm jealous of any of you guys who have a pool. All right, swimming around, swim here. Swim around playfully. Okay, I'll do a little bit of a cleanup. I mean, it would be handy if the maid came. I think we'll get rid of the cake. It's not like they need any more cake. Anyways, um... Still uncomfortable from trash here? Where, where else is there any trash? I know this is unpleasant. I guess we can afford to get that. Oh, not that. We can afford to fix the toilet. Um, but what else? What else do we need to clean up? Upstairs. And I guess there's a lot of stuff like this we can get rid of. I don't think the house is too bad. We should act. We really do need to get Topaz's room underway. But the other thing is maybe, maybe Diamond should, maybe we should give Diamond a really nice big room. We could turn this into Diamond's room over here. That could be a really nice area. Or... Mm, the outdoor patio area. Under here and up here could be made into bedrooms. I mean, there's heaps of opportunity for bedrooms and we could just kind of change this room quite a bit to suit uh, Topaz. Oh, Ken, you're so good, aren't you? You're such a good man. <laughs> the perfect man. Oh, there's Fern coming through the shower. So he just, he needs to get his fitness up a little bit more still. Maybe he, we might get him to just run on the treadmill for a bit. Seeming as though he doesn't appear to be enjoying his workouts that much. Come on, Kenny. On you hop. Oh, I love his little running shots. Good stuff. So he's up at five for his workout. It's pretty impressive. Margie, what's Margie doing? Oh, 
Just cooking up some beans for breakfast. Oh, that's right. We wanted to fix the man bath. That's what's upsetting Ken. Of course he would be upset. Oh, relaxing swim. Hmm. Okay, grab a serving of this. Yummy! And she can go for another snoozle. I love that uh, Ken's turned on the music too. That's great. <laughs> Oh, he's so in the zone. Okay, let's check out his face. So in the zone. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.